Hi friends, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to open the Dell Vostro 3550 series. And now, in this entire video you'll be able to see how we remove the DVD writer, the hard drive, RAM, the keyboard, as well as uh, the touchpad of the Dell Vostro 3550. So, you need to have some screwdrivers in hand. Uh, the ones that we have are these and these basically. All right. So this is the laptop that we have today, the Dell Vostro 3550. This is the maroon red version. And if the laptop looks just the way I'm showing it to you, then this procedure applies for you too. So this is the Vostro 3550, and uh, we are going to do a dismantling of this laptop today. So let's start. Alright, so the first thing that you need to hear is uh, you need to remove the batteries. Just need to remove the batteries before any dismantling work has to start. Batteries out now. Okay. So let's start with the hard drive and the RAM that is the first basic thing that most of you would be looking at so flip the cover and as you can see this whole panel over here there are these three screws which you need to remove one two and three and then uh, with a minus very sharp minus uh, screwdriver just start removing the panel outside so once you remove the panel you can uh, see the ram slot over here as you can see this is the ram slot and this is where the hard drive is placed now you just need to use both your fingers and just need to remove the ram like this and this basically is a DDR3 sodium memory and you can just replace it with another 4GB or 8GB strip. We suggest you have a 16 chip, the same that you are having a look at now. This is 8 chip on this side and another 8 chip on this side. So totally 16 chip, a more efficient memories. So when you are buying RAM, take something that has got 16 chips on it. And you can just, you have these two slots over here. So just put just press towards the right and just press down ok so these notches will hold on to the RAM now coming to the hard drive, uh, this is where the hard drive is, you just need to remove these two screws You just need to slid on this side on the left side of yours. As you can see. Alright. You have the hard disk in hand and it has got a SATA hard drive as is evident here. You can take a 500 GB or a 750 GB or in some cases one terabyte hard drive. You have to remove this covering over here. One, two three and four screws which are holding onto this particular hard drive and uh, take another hard drive and just need to put these hold, holding on covers back onto the hard drive and slid it back as it is let's put the screws back because
Yeah, these small screws actually not the big ones. So you just need to all right, so let's now get to the keyboard. Just need to flip it and open it up and just as you can see over here there are these notches which are holding onto the keyboard one and two and three and four what you need to do here is you just need to these notches over here if you can see just need to release the keyboard out of the notches and just put one of your there are absolutely no screws or any uh, gumming that is there and this is the keyboard uh, that you have to replace if you have to replace and you just need to remove the keyboard strip connector just remove it and this is it you keep the keyboard aside now now coming on to the opening of this whole panel we need to now remove uh, screws which are visible over here there is one screw over here which you have to remove another screw over here this is another screw and this is Now you have to remove these strips very carefully. So they are very very delicate and uh, if not removed appropriately they might just damage and you might not be able to work. Alright, so we are done with the upper part here. Now we need to go to the behind and remove the screws that are there there is this screw over here on the inside which you need to remove just need to use a sharp little and similarly even over here just need to Now I need to remove uh, all the screws that you can see here. Alright, so we have removed all these screws totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 screws. We also need to remove the hard, uh, DVD writer. So we just need to remove this one screw over here and just give it a little push and the DVD writer is out. This is the DVD writer that your laptop has got. So just need to replace if you want to replace just take a SATA based DVD writer and just remove this 
panel that is holding on to the DVD writer and uh, you can put the same panel to another DVD writer which is a new one and you can just insert it back you have to remove this particular thing here and put it on the another DVD writer that you take okay so we are now ready to entirely remove the top panel and which will expose the motherboard also just need to very gently yep this is so very easy seems like all right so the whole panel is out now as you can see even the touchpad panel is out now and this is where the entire touchpad is so if you want to replace it just need to replace this whole thing just need to take a need to remove these remove these strips and uh, just change it with another touchpad that you have this is the way it looks on the inside uh, as you can see fan is over here you just put some blower and you can clean this thing up heat dissipation area this is the motherboard I would not go down to opening the motherboard because basically the screws that have to be opened and that's it you can open the motherboard from here and you just need to be sure about connecting uh, uh, the screws back in the places this is the Wi-Fi chip this is a little tricky actually uh, if somebody's got a Wi-Fi chip that is not working you just need to remove these antenna wires and you just need to remove the Wi-Fi chip and replace it with a new one so this my friends was the dismantling of the Dell Bosro 3550 uh, in the process we have shown you how to replace the keyboard of your uh, laptop your hard drive, your RAM and uh, the DVD writer also also at the end of it all we have shown you how to basically change the Wi-Fi chip you can also dismantle the motherboard you can see the hinges over here and here if the hinges are bad most of these Dell laptops uh, Bosro series have no hinge issues so need not worry on that and this is where the CMOS cell is so if the CMOS cell is behaving a little erratically you can just change this CMOS cell too so thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us we will be online from January 1 2013 do not forget to visit techstore.co.in you can make your purchase there you can buy a lot of these uh, laptop parts accessories spares on our website thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching